Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Mullen from Kansas City. Today I'd like to talk to you about my experience with the loop lock knotless implants. Our patient is a 23 year old softball pitcher. She presented in 2019 with left sided hip pain and after failure of conservative management underwent a left hip arthroscopy with osteoplasty and labor repair in January of 2020. She did well postoperatively and returned to softball. She then presented to clinic in 2021 with contralateral right-sided hip pain. Conservative management was undertaken, including rest, activity modification, anti-inflammatories, and formal physical therapy. She did very well until June of 2023 when her symptoms returned. She then came back to clinic and complained of right-sided hip pain. Her physical exam was positive for impingement and a labral tear, and so I updated her plain radiograph imaging and resumed conservative management, including formal physical therapy. You can see her plain radiograph imaging here, which indicates that she has subspine impingement and a cam lesion leading to impingement. She came back to clinic with persistent pain after failure of the above conservative management. Therefore, we obtained an MRI orthogram of her right hip and planned for surgical management based on her MRI findings. You can see her MRI findings here, where she has an anterior and anterior superior labral tear. Her chondral surfaces are well maintained. So then we undertook operative management, and this is part of her diagnostic arthroscopy. You can see that she has a non-displaced anterior and anterior superior labral tear, and her chondral surfaces are normal. These are some still photos from her procedure, which included a subspine decompression, a labor repair using 1.8 millimeter fiber tack all suture anchors, and a camera section. At the conclusion of the camera section, her dynamic exam was negative for any further impingement, and so we moved on to capsule closure. This is a quick animation of the loop lock knotless implant system. There is a lead suture that is passed across both leaflets to shuttle the loop suture across. This is then removed. You then pass the free end through the looped end and load this onto the loop lock knotless implant tightrope system using the card. The card is then removed and then you even out your tails so that the two interlocked loops are even on the deep side of the capsulotomy. You then progressively cinch this down, tensioning your capsule closure, creating a well approximated robust knotless capsule repair. The loop block knotless implant is easy to use. As you saw, it's loaded on a step-by-step -step card and it's a familiar tightrope mechanism if you've ever used the BTB tightrope before. It's knotless, so it creates a low profile footprint, which leads to less iliopsoas irritation and less capsule irritation postoperatively, which can help minimize the risk of anterior hip pain in your patients in the postoperative period. It also creates a robust capsule closure because it eliminates the variability in knot strength. Here you can see some video from our procedure. On the left side, you see the shuttle suture being passed across the two leaflets. And on the right side, you can see the sequential tensioning of the loop lock mechanism well approximating the leaflets of our capsule. The patient returned to clinic recently for her three month follow-up appointment. She's doing very well and will continue to progress to the PT protocol and begin the return to running protocol. In summary, capsule closure has proven to be an essential component of a successful hip arthroscopy. In my practice, I chose to transition to loop lock because it's easy to use, it creates a strong capsule repair, it's knotless and reproducible, and it reduces capsule irritation and iliopsoas irritation. I've noticed in my patients that they have less pain with straight hip flexion postoperatively, and I think this is due to the elimination of knots from their capsule closure. I think my patients have done better postoperatively since transitioning to the loop lock, and I think yours will too. Thank you.